Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this little girl skirt. It's very easy to make. It's done a crochet. Uh, this is the video number two um, of three. I, in the first one I made the heart, in the second one the skirt. And in the third I'm going to put the, the heart and the skirt together to make a little dress. But you can leave the skirt just like that. It looks very pretty. Well, to make this little it? skirt, uh, I'm going to use two color yarn and both of them are Bernard Satin they are a hundred gram and with a hundred gram it's more than plenty to do this project the heart and the skirt to combine them together to do the little dress the, it's medium four and the color is crimson exactly the same as the heart and this one is Bernard Satin a hundred gram medium four and the color is silk it's not a pure white, but it's a really nice color. Uh, the crochet hook is 5 millimeter, and you're going to need tapestry needle to loose the tails and scissors. Uh, we're going to make the little skirt, just a little bit like this one, here. And the combination of the heart and the little skirt, we will do the little dress. Um, the one that we're going to make, this one was my, my test, I did this one a little small here, but the one we're going to make going to be a little bigger, this part here, uh, longer. Okay, so let's start with the little skirt. I'm going to make a slip knot. And I'm going to chain between 50 or 54 chains. I say in between because uh, the other one that I made for the test, I did 50 chain and since this yarn is different I will try between 50 or 54. I will let you know when I finish how many I did. Here I finished for mine I did 58 chains. I said before 50 to 54 but when I measured with the other little skirt 54 was 4 chain too short. And now I am gonna make sure that my chain is not twisted to close the circle. I'm going to do a slip stitch on the top here at the first chain, a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain one. If you are working with Red Heart Super Saver, you do 50 to 54 chain. Now I'm going to do single crochet all the way around in my circle here. I'm going to do 58 single crochet. I'll meet you here when I have my 58. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch and now in this one I don't did what I'm going to do to this one I did a um, all single crochet but in this one I'm going to do a row of double crochet that way we can put a ribbon or a little belt or a little um, something done with single crochet that you can put it through there and do a little bow and that way you can adjust the size of the skirt and the top and then I'm gonna chain three one two and three and I don't gonna count that one and I'm gonna do 58 double crochet without counting those chain three just like this and through there we'll pass a ribbon I'll meet you here at the end. Here I finished my row of double crochet. I'm going to do a slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet. And I finished that row. You're going to chain one. And now you're going to do one single crochet on top of each double crochet. And you're going to do, uh, if you're using Red Heart Super Saver, you're going to do a row. If you are using a yarn like this one um, that I'm using, and you're going to do 10. You're going to finish this row and you're going to do a slip stitch and chain one and continue until you have your uh, rows. Here I finished my 10th row. I did a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. Counts as a double crochet and two more for separation in between every single crochet. Uh, wrap your yarn around the hook skip this single crochet and go to the next one 
and do a double crochet chain two wrap your yarn on the hook skip the next stitch and go to the next one and do a single a double crochet chain two wrap your yarn around the hook skip the next one and do another double crochet like that you're gonna do this row all the way around and do a slip stitch in the third chain here and then for me I will change color I will work with a silk color um, I'm gonna do the ruffle of the skirt the first one in red the second in white or silk the third one in red and the last one the other color the silk color changing color but if you like you can do it all in one color if you like you don't need to do this uh, little dress um, well a skirt and two color you can do one color you don't need to do red and white you can do just red so let me you here finish that row way. I'm gonna do a slip stitch one two three and I'm gonna grab my other color to do the slip stitch with like this Okay, I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. I'm going to leave this, the red one here, because in the next row, I will use the red one to do uh, the next row. And I don't want to cut it because all this is going inside, and it's okay if it's like that inside. You can cut it and then uh, attach it again, but for me, I'm going to leave it like that. I did three chains plus two, one, two. And now I'm going to do one double crochet and top at each double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet, and the next double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet, and the next double crochet, like this. You're going to continue all the way to the end, then you're going to do a slip stitch and start with the next color. If you are changing color. Like I said, if you're doing it in one color, I give you just the idea and how to do it, and you decide how you want to do the colors. You can do all the skirt red, or white, or any color. It's up to you. It's just the same idea. Here, I finished that row. I'm going to do a slip stitch, and I count one, two, and then the third. I'm going to do a slip stitch with my red yarn. Like this. I keep the white one without cutting and I will bring it up like I did the red and I'm going to chain three one two and three plus two more one two wrap your yarn around the hook and do your double crochet and top of the double crochet chain two another double crochet and top this double crochet like that you're going to do this row and the next one but I will show you how to do it again the next one. now I'm going to finish this row with a slip stitch and I'm going to attach the white and chain 3 plus 2 and a double crochet and the next double crochet chain 2 like this we're going to do this row like the other ones and finish this and start with the little ruffles I finish here uh, with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, loose those tails, and start with the little ruffles. Look how cute the little skirt looks so far. Now we're going to do the first row of ruffles. This is the back part of the skirt. Now you're going to fold it like this. And then here, where did you do the last row of single crochet, you're going to do another row of single crochet. You're going to grab the yarn, do a slip knot. The slip stitch and chain one. Now you're going to do a single crochet on top of each single crochet, and I'm going to lose the tail at the same time. Like this. Even in the same stitch that you had that. Um, double crochet you're gonna do a single crochet just like that 
all the way around and like this will be looking this will make it will put the little ruffle on top of that here I finished this row and I did a slip stitch now I'm gonna chain one and in that same space I'm gonna do a single crochet now I'm gonna chain two and skip this stitch here and go to the next one and do a single crochet chain two and skip one single crochet and go to the next one and do a single crochet we are creating these two work or little ruffles inside this little space here and then you're going to go all the way around doing two uh, uh, chains skipping the single crochet and go to the next one and do a single crochet like this all the way around so I see you here at the end I finished here with the slip stitch and the first single crochet now I'm going to do a slip stitch to go inside those chain two I'm going to chain one two three that counts as a double crochet now we're going to chain four more one two three and four and then the four from the hook I'm going to do a slip stitch just like that I'm going to chain one I'm going to wrap my yarn around the hooks and do a double crochet chain four one two three and four and do a slip stitch and the fourth chain from the hook and chain one like that do a double crochet again chain four one two three and four do my slip stitch and the first one from the hook just like that and chain one you see I have three in that space now I'm gonna go to the next one in here I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I'm gonna do a double crochet chain four one two three and four do a slip stitch and the four from the hook and chain one all is one chain to separate uh, every double crochet now I'm gonna do another double crochet and chain four one two three and four the slip stitch and the first one and the fourth one from the hook and chain one I had two in this space do another double crochet in the same chain space and chain four one two three and four slip stitch and the fourth one from the hook and chain one like that you see like that is how I'm gonna do the ruffle all the way around in the skirt doing three double crochet in each space with the little three little thing in the top like that okay so I'll meet you here at the end of this row where I'm gonna finish with the slip stitch in the third chain and cut my yarn and I start with the white yarn I finished the last one I uh, did the chain one and now I'm gonna go to the first one and go to the third chain and do slip stitch cut my yarn lose that tail and work with the white one and I will show you now mm, the result of the first uh, uh, ruffle it is the first ruffle it looks really nice and now we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the white but if you do in the same color yes do it exactly the same that I'm gonna do with the white you'll do it with the color you are doing and these ones they are all the same the all the rows just changing here color. I did a slip knot and now I'm gonna come here to that space here and I'm gonna chain one I did it with the tail sorry chain one and I'm gonna do a single crochet just there in the same space I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm gonna do two single crochet like that we're working it in this here if you open this up like this we are working in this space of the chain two in between every double crochet 
and we're doing two single crochet all the way around you're gonna do two single crochet and do a slip stitch uh, do a uh, single crochet here and a slip stitch in the first one. Here I finish with a slip stitch now I'm gonna chain two one two I'm gonna skip the next uh, single crochet and go to the next one and do a single crochet chain two excuse skip the next one and go to the next one and do a single crochet like that you're gonna do this row and then after we'll do the ruffles exactly like we did the red and we're gonna repeat this in the bottom changing the color okay so I'll meet you here at the end of this row I finish here and I'm gonna do slip stitch to go inside the chain two and chain three one two and three for the double crochet and one two three and four and you're gonna come to the four from the hook and do slip stitch and chain one and like that we are doing exactly what we did with the red we're doing with the white you're gonna repeat every single step with the other ones underneath here you're gonna do exactly the same same until you go to the end so I'll meet you here when I finish my skirt